Now, so now, uh, let me start the software and show you how we can use it for a demonstration purpose. Now, after you open the software, you need to connect to the RFID reader. Click, con click open COM port. You will connect to the reader. Basic information about the reader will display on the uh, on the window right away. Uh, now let me do a simple test as a, as a demonstration first. Now you will see. Now you will see inside the software there are a lot of feature, a lot of feel, a lot of information. All of them are relevant to the RFID tag. So basically, all the features of our RFID tag could be tested here, could be tested by this program. And of course, as the source code has been given, it's an example for coding. You can use it. You can, uh, based on the code, and we have document of the uh, library, so you can further develop the specific application you, you, you are looking for. Now, so uh, with the tag, it's very easy. Now you see, uh, I have a reader here. I have tag. Okay, I have a number of tag here. Uh, for this program, I have connect. So you, so you, so you see the information of the, so you see the basic information of the reader. Now, uh, click to this page, EPC. Uh, the the reader itself is is EPC compiled. So, uh, basically, the um. The most basic, the most basic information you need to retrieve from a, a RFID reader is the EPC number. Okay, la, So to read the number, we click QE test first. So now the now the reader is ready to um to read that. You know when you read that, you need put the tag on the reader, right? Now, the information will display on this window, on on this panel. Okay, now, let me show you. Two, three, four. Now you see, the information will display on the panel. Okay, now. Now, next thing we can do with the RFID tag is that the um, um, is to read other information on the RFID tag. You know, actually, a RFID tag is uh, a standard, a standard, um, a standard uh, uh, structure of a RFID UHF tag. Is uh it has four uh memory bank, they are EPC number, TID, user band and a reserve band. So um, I have shown you I I I have demonstrate uh how uh the, the uh within the EPC number. Now now uh, um this software can also be used to with TID. Now the t what is TID? TID is a, a built-in built uh, identification number of any RFID tag. This TID, this TID number cannot be changed. It's burned on the trip in factory. So, uh, uh, but EPC number lot, you can uh, use uh, universal EPC number from GS1 or uh, you can use any number as your EPC number. But if you are uh, using your lum EPC number, your application can also use internally. If you want your uh, application to be portable, like uh, your, your, your EPC number is universal, then what you need to use is to use a universal EPC number uh, approved by the International Standard Organization, that is GS1. Now, so now, let me go back to this TID. 
if you want with the TID of an RFID tag, it's easy. Do you see below QV tag there is a chat box TID? When you check this TID box, and then you click QV tag, the reader now is ready for um reading again. Now we put the tag on the on the reader. Do you see the number? Do you see the number now? Generate on the screen is different from the previous ones because this is not EPC, this is TID.